Today's video, I want to talk about the fact that a lot of people, when they get clean, they're looking for new things to, to take up their time, um, keep them moving in a positive direction, and, you know, just having their day flow. Because often, if you find yourself looking for something to do, you become bored, you may end up doing something you, re you will regret, like relapse. <clears throat> but I want people to be conscious of the fact that if you are someone like me, you are easily able to get addicted to anything. I mean, um, it could be coffee. It could be it could be anything. I mean, I remember when uh, I first got clean, I started drinking a lot of coffee, like a lot of coffee. I mean, I would have like eight cups in a day, and it was to the point where. I would wake up every day and I'd have my coffee. I bought a nice French press. You know, I was getting really into the old coffee thing. And <clears throat> I felt like I needed the coffee. And when I realized that I felt like I needed it, I knew I was doing the same things I used to do. And it made me realize I have to change the way I go about doing things. Because if you have an addictive personality like myself, it's very easy for you to jump from thing to thing and <clears throat> go all out when you do it, okay? And, you know, this could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Um, it's a good thing because if you do things to the extreme, uh, you can be successful. You can accomplish things that ordinary people wouldn't accomplish, so you see a lot of famous people that are just gung-ho, 110%. And a lot of people that are in recovery have that mentality. So if you do focus on something and you give it your all, you'll, you'll be successful at it. <clears throat> but this is more towards the fact that I want you to be conscious of becoming addicted to other things. All right. And yes, you may get clean off of opiates, but I don't want you to start getting addicted to, you know, just other things like, uh, like coffee or, you know, you know, just doing things to the extreme that aren't going to be healthy for you. And if you do notice yourself doing this, it's good to practice, uh, some ab abstinence from the stuff that you have a problem with. Like I, I hardly drink coffee anymore <clears throat> because I just, I really don't need it. You know what I mean? So if you become aware that you are jumping from thing to thing or you're, you believe that you need something in order to function, uh, that's an issue. All right? And I want you to be, uh, be very aware that this may be an issue and something that you should look out for for yourself. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Looking for more emails, send it to Ryan at CompSupport.com to share your story. And let me know if you want to use your first name, last name, or stay anonymous. And keep watching. All right, we got a. I think we hit 3,500 subscribers, so we have a lot of people that are uh, that are seeing my face every day when I load a video, and hopefully that will help some people um, go in the right direction. And I appreciate all the support and everyone liking all the videos and and the comments, and it really means a lot to me because this is it's a lot of work. All right, so uh, questions or comments below, keep watching. Thanks.